bienvenidos a las clases virtuales de enseñanza para niños que tenemos cada jueves a las seis y media en Gracia a las Naciones. Hi everyone, welcome to the 40 Days in the Word virtual classes for Grace Kids Church. We are very happy to have you with us. Uh, we will be meeting through YouTube. Uh, I, you can find us at Grace to the Nations YouTube page and also Facebook page every Thursday at 6.30 in the afternoon. Thank you and we'll see you then. Madam Savantuose, Madam Mutse Kristen Grego at your Grace to the Nation. Fatishako Kirako, Kwakane at 6.30. So again, the Kuri YouTube, Kwiki Shaman, Kiman, Kiman, and Kwakos. Me levanta Hi kids, welcome back to week four of 40 Days in the Word. I can't believe we're almost done. We still have two more weeks to go and so far I've been having so much fun with you guys every Thursday at 6.30 through Facebook or YouTube. Um, today what we're going to be learning about is seeing what God wants me to see or seeing what God wants you to see. Uh, but before we do, we're going to do a little recap of last week's, which was week three. Um, and last week we talked about how the Bible can change us. Um, and that's inside us. And one of the things that we talked about is that the Bible is such a powerful book. Um, it has so much power that it has the ability to change a person's life. Well, because remember, God inspired the Bible. God breathed into the Bible. So whatever God breathes into has power. We already learned that God created the world, the universe, the heavens, the earth, the trees, everything that's in the earth, God created. So if he created it just by speaking, then therefore the Bible is so powerful that once we open it and we read what it's inside, we can grow from it and, and it has the power to change our lives. Also, do you guys remember last week's memory verse? If you said Psalms 119 verse 18, you are correct. And that said, open my eyes so that I can see all of the wonderful things in your teachings. We talked about Samuel and how he opened his ears and listened to God. That's what we want to do every time that we read the Bible. We want to make sure that we're able to understand it. Which leads to this week's lesson, um, which is called Seeing What God Wants You to See. And one of the words that I'm going to share with you is illumination. Do you know what illumination means? No, it's not the word that the minions say at the beginning of Despicable Me. Um, illumination means clarity or understanding. So have you ever been in a foggy morning? And when I say foggy morning, it means when you step out, it's really early and there's fog and it's kind of difficult to see. Or let me give you this example. If you're going into your room and the lights are off, and you're looking for your favorite toy or your favorite teddy bear, what do you need in order to find that toy or teddy bear? Light! You need light to see because otherwise you can't see what's in front of you, you can't see your surroundings, you're, you can't see if you're gonna step on a Lego. You need light to see and be able to clearly see your surroundings and be able to understand and, and and be able to see where you're going to get to the toy or the teddy bear. The Holy Spirit is the illumination that we need to be able to understand the Word of God. I kind of see it as a flashlight that we need that helps us see around us and understand what God is trying to tell us in His Word. To tell you a little bit about it, the Holy Spirit was a gift given to us after Jesus died on the cross, rose from the dead, and returned to be with our Father God. When Jesus was ready to leave and return to God, the people, the disciples, and everyone that was following Jesus at that time were really upset and they didn't want him to leave. 
So what did God do? He sent the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is not something that we can visibly see with our eyes, but we can definitely know it's there once we receive it in our hearts. Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26, that the Holy Spirit was meant to teach us all the things and reminds us of everything that he had shared with us while he was on earth. And do you know what that is? You're correct. That's the Bible. That's what God has said to us. So the Holy Spirit is really kind of our flashlight and illuminates our mind and our understanding to be able to understand what God is trying to tell us in this book. So not only is this book really powerful, but the Holy Spirit who was given to us as a gift to be able to help us understand this, that is even, that's such a powerful thing. And that is such a gift that God gave us so that we're never alone. He is always with us. And whenever we have a question when we're reading the Bible, he gives us the answer. But the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us. And also, if we ever have any questions about the Bible, it gives us the answer. And the next video that we're about to see, it kind of illustrates what I've been talking about, how the Holy Spirit was given to us as a gift and what the purpose of the Holy Spirit is in our lives. God is with us. This is Jesus. hey -o. Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. And they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty, and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? Hey -o. Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. Wow, what an amazing gift the Holy Spirit is for our lives. It's truly a flashlight. And the memory verse for this week is in James chapter 1, verse 22, and it says, But don't just listen to the God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourselves. And what th that means is it's good to listen to it, but also do it. We learned last week in Samuel, 
he listened to to God's word, but he just didn't listen to it. What did he do? He actually followed through with what God had said. And that's the same thing with the Bible. When we read the Bible, we don't just want to read it or hear it on Sundays. We want to actually do what it says. So that is our challenge to you this week. Remember this Bible verse, James chapter 1, verse 22. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. All right, so I'm very excited that this week we have my friend Mario, who is going to be joining us today to do our activity. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like being on camera? Kind of. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Your viewers want to know. Blue. Blue. Why? I don't know. I just like See, it. It has a nice texture. A nice texture? Yeah. How so? Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm so happy that you're here, Mario. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is this. Have you seen this before? It's a pinwheel. A pinwheel, that is correct. So Mario is going to be helping us out, teaching us. Well, we're going to learn how to do this, basically. I'm going to teach you how to do this at home. Um, the reason why we're doing a pinwheel is because we just learned that the Holy Spirit was a gift to us. It is something that we can't visibly see, but we know it exists. Um, just like the wind. The wind, have you seen the wind? I have never seen the wind, but do you know it exists? Yeah. yeah, it exists. So that is like the Holy Spirit. We know it exists. We just can't see it, but we know it exists. Um, and it's very powerful, just like the wind. So no, wind very well um so what you're gonna need and you have this in your yellow folder so take it out you're gonna need this sheet that we gave you um and then you're gonna need some scissors so again if you don't have any right now ask your parents or your family to give you a pair of scissors or to help you cut um you're also gonna need these little thumb tags that they're gold they're in your yellow envelope as well and also your straw that's in your yellow envelope as well very good um also what we're going to be doing for a few minutes is we're going to decorate our pinwheel this one i didn't decorate um but we're going to do it right now so let's grab some crayons we're going to give you about I don't know, five minutes to color the pinwheel? Yeah, that's fine. That sounds good, right? Yeah. So we're gonna decorate however you want. <clears throat> um, a little trick also, the back is gonna be folded in. Um, so I don't know if you wanna color that too. So what color are you doing since you like blue? Blue? Just blue. Yeah? Is it because of the texture? You know what? I'm going to do this color. Yeah. So we're going to give you guys about five minutes or so to color and decorate your pinwheel. Um, you can do a solid color. You can draw stripes. You could do different types of color. Patterns. Patterns, very good. Before this activity, Mario, have you seen have had you seen a pinwheel before? Yeah. Yeah? How about you? Maybe ask your parents if they had. This was a very popular toy. Back then. Back then? Yeah. What was back then for you? Like, I don't know. Like, old? What's old for you? Black and white. Black and white. Okay. So, in black and white times, the pinwheels were used. Right, Mario? <laughs> <laughs>
What's another powerful thing that you can think of that we can't see, but we know it exists? Oxygen. Oxygen? Okay, that's true. That's kind of like hand in hand with air, right? Oh, yeah. Gravity? Oh, Do you yeah. guys know about gravity? Force? The force? No, like force, like something that pulls your Oh, like the, the law of force? Hmm. Do you guys think of anything that you can't see but you know it's powerful, like the wind? Looking good, Mario. And kiddos, if you're doing this at home, ask your parents if they can take a picture of your finished um, activity and maybe they, you guys could share it with us on Sunday. Um, or email it to the church's uh, Facebook. You know, take a picture with your pinwheel. We want to see your projects. Very good. Wow, you're fast. Okay, hold on. Where is my head at? Ah, okay. Let me just finish. Wow. Okay, here we go. All right. So Mario's done. I'm done. Show your, show your work, there you go, voila. So now what we're gonna do, this is a little tricky, so you have your scissors, right? Okay, so I'm actually gonna, yeah. Oh, also be careful with this. Yes, very good, thank you, Mario. Let me do a hole punch real quick here for you. And just like Mario said, please be careful with your scissors, ask your parents for help. Okay. So now what we're going to be doing is first we're going to do the easy cutting. We're going to cut around the square like so, okay? So just cut around the square. <laughs> you kind of cut the table cloth. <laughs> Wow, Mario, you're fast. Is that why you were named Mario? Huh? Well, Mario is fast on the Mario Kart, but I don't know about real life. Right, Super Mario? Well, I don't know if he's fast. You never know. Oh, you don't know if he's fast? Okay. Okay. All right, so Mario's done. I'm done. Again, throw away your trash when you're done. So we got... A square like so so then what we're gonna do is do you see these dark black well, um, lines these, these ones right here you, you cut yes cut on the line very good so just like Mario said we're cutting on this line only up to here okay Oh, let me do that real quick. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we're just cutting down the black line, and once it ends, we stop cutting. So, we see? Yes, very good. Don't cut to the 
the dye onto the very end of the dye. Yes. So now we have, it kind of looks like, the, I don't know what it looks like, but you see you have like these sections, right? So now we're going to pay close, close attention, okay? What we're going to do is you're going to take, yeah, do you want to explain it? Yeah. Uh, you just take this little hole right here. Um, put this hole in the middle, and then you will have something like this. Yes, so all of the corners with the holes, you're going to line it up with the main hole in the middle, okay? Like so. And then we do it with the next one, right? Yeah. Like so. So for this part, we might need a little help. Right, so maybe ask your parents to help you out, okay? And if they need help, that's okay, right? Yeah. So we're lining it up like this, and like this. So then you get that, right? Uh-huh. And then, okay, I got your little thumbtack. So then you're gonna take your gold thumbtack and punch it through the center. Do you see? Just like gently punch it. So then we get a pinwheel. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Yay! Very good. Okay. So now if you want to open the flaps a little bit while we're working on this straw, just so that this that the paper yeah, that's good. There you go. Uh-huh. So now we're gonna put our pinwheel aside. And we're gonna take our McDonald's straw. I'm just kidding. It's not McDonald's. You have a normal straw now. I have a normal straw. And this is also a tricky part. So again, ask your parents for help if you need it. We're gonna make a little like incision. A little so cut. A little cut. You're not gonna cut all the way through the straw, just a little pinch on one side and then a little pinch on the other side just so that we can stick the thumbtack through. Okay. This is how it's supposed to look like. I know mean, you don't see this but it's going to look like a little small one. Yes. Because now through those incisions, those um, holes, we're going to stick our thumbtack through. And the trick is if you punch the thumbtack through all the way, you might not be able to blow on it and it won't be able to spin. So give it a little space, okay? You might have to play around with it a little bit. So that's why it's important to ask your parents for help. Now for safety reasons, we're not gonna blow on our pinwheel right now, but it does work with imaginary air. How's it going, Mario? Good. Pretty difficult. Let me see, I can help okay, you. There you go. There you go. Show it to, to our friends over here. Here. There you go. All right, guys. Again, please take pictures. We want to see them. Um, and you guys can show it to us on Sunday. Um, wasn't this fun? Yeah. Definitely not black and white times. <laughs> All right, guys, so I want to thank Mario for joining us today. He was a lovely help. Um, and we just can't wait to see you guys on Sunday. Don't forget to bring your yellow envelope so that we can give you the materials for next week, okay? Um, practice your Bible verse. And what do you say we finish with the prayer? Yeah. Sounds good? All right. 
So go ahead and join us, guys. If you have parents or other siblings around, grab their hands, close your eyes, and we're going to pray. All right? Thank you, Father, Lord, for today, Lord, for this class, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that was such an amazing gift, Lord, that truly illuminates, Lord, our understanding and that we continue to use it, Lord, to be able to understand your word, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray for every family, Lord, that's watching us today, Lord, that joined us today, and we declare that they have a blessed night, Lord, a blessed day, and that we continue to grow on from here on out, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Punch it. There. <laughs>